Yes, I love Slash. Thank you for inviting me here. I am Steph, CEO and co-founder of Avo. This is an impressive event. This is my first Slush, actually. So it's been really fun. Uh, Avo fixes data quality in product analytics. We are Y Combinator alumni, and we're also backed by other incredible world-class investors like GGV and Heavybit, and data executives at companies like Google, Slack, and Shopify. What do we do? We help incredible teams like IKEA, Fender, Sixt, and Walt, who I'm sure many of you have already gotten some deliveries from this week. Um, we help them build the best user experiences. How? We unblock the biggest blocker from understanding customer journeys, data quality. It's a huge problem. And I have the, the sort of the backstory from how we got there. Um, it started at QuizUp. We are a team of product builders that work together at QuizUp. I have personally been in data science for over a decade. Um, I started in genetics, and then I started the data team at QuizUp, and we learned firsthand how incredibly cumbersome this problem is, <clears throat> and how much it slows down company progress to not have proper data quality. We built a solution for this internally at QuizUp, but we did that painfully over a three-year period, and it was frustrating, but it changed our data culture. And fast forward, a couple of years later, we started another company and had the exact same problem again. This is a teaser for a story that I'm about to tell you. We had that exact same problem again. And I'll, I'll tell you that uh, it was because we were optimizing our onboarding journey. We learned that 98% of our users were using email to sign up. We were like, OK, great. Let's simplify the onboarding journey. Only 2% are using the phone number method. Let's drop it. OK, what happened? Turns out that the sign-up conversion through our onboarding journey from people creating accounts to actually completing, uh, no, from people opening the app and completing creation account went from 81% to 46%. And we were like, what the hell happened here? Why did that happen? Uh, so we started looking at the data again. Were actually 98% of our customers using email? Turns out we didn't only have email and phone number, we actually had phone number without the B as well. We had implemented the analytics for our sign-up method incorrectly with this tiny typo. Seemingly tiny, tiny problem, but when you multiply that with a million users, that's a big problem. And that's a problem that companies all over the world are having every single day. It's very frustrating. So we found ourselves in the position of having and wanting to build those tools again internally. And we were like, no, we can't. It can't be that difficult. And we ended up talking to hundreds of product managers, data scientists, and developers around the world. Turns out 99% of them were miserable, like I was at Quizza before we built the tools. And then 1% had converted from being miserable to actually building these tools and solving it. So we decided to solve the problem once and for all, for everyone. Um, and here's what our customers are saying today about that. Avo saved my sanity when juggling tracking plans. Buying Avo was possibly the most impactful decision I have made. Once you adopt Avo, there is no going back. It's a game changer. And we've even heard people say they would quit their job and switch careers if they could no longer use Avo. So that's the impact that we're making. But how does it actually work? What do we do? We help teams plan, implement, and verify their analytics events before they ship their data to production for every single product release. 
our customers used to spend three to four days on every single product release on that problem, and they now do that in 30 to 60 minutes. So we help our customers do this 10 times faster with better data quality. And that's why people love Avo today. And that's why we have these incredible customers. Um, that's why we're helping companies from startups to scale-ups to enterprises, Bill.com, Sotheby's, Sixth, and the companies that I mentioned before, we're helping, these, helping them solve this problem. And the exciting thing is we're just getting started because there's a major shift happening in the world right now. Every company success now is based on building incredible digital products with great user experiences. To build great user experiences, they need to adopt product analytics. They need to understand their customer journeys. And then they need to think about the data quality for that so that they don't fall into the traps that we did. And so, within 10 years, every single digital company, every single company is going to be building a digital product, and they're going to be on this slide. So, um, if you are building a digital product, then you should be using product analytics, and you should be thinking about the data quality of your product analytics. So come talk to us. Thank you.